Okay, so today I wanted to just share a little bit about my personal setup and why there's so many bars and uh, what I set up with different colors and stuff like that. So to make a long story short, I want you to just see the full extension of what I have. Um, and uh, so I have these little groups. If you see this, it says pianos. So if I collapse everything, the actual, it's only around this long. And I group all my sounds into certain categories in order to help me kind of find out where my sounds are and kind of categorize them. So I have my piano sounds. Piano sounds are in yellow. And so if I push this little button here, it opens up. I only have one piano sound that I use, most likely it's from a, a BST, which we'll talk about later. But I, I have that one I use most of the time. And then I have my string sounds. So if I tap this, uh, hang on. If I tap, if I tap this, it will pull, pull up the two string sounds that I have. One of them is sustained, and then one of them is staccato. So, so what I'll do is I'll arm them both. I'll bring them up and down. Those are the two sounds that I have that are strings. Then I also have organs. They're in purple. If I open up my organs, I have a jazz organ and a church organ that I will use. And uh, it, dif it, di it differentiates like in di different settings. If I want more of a jazz style, I'll use jazz. More for like a church, the old fashion organ, I'll use one of those. And then I have leads. I have tons of leads, as you can see. Um, because I feel like there's many different types of lead sounds. So I kind of created these different ones of bass synth leads, huge leads. I, I labeled these myself in order to help me find out what it sounded like. Um, so I have all these kind of here that I'll use. And then I'll have flutes and bells. Flutes and bells are in light blue. I'll open this up. This is a flute sound, a pan flute, and a, a bells kind of sound, like a, a xylophone kind of sound with lots of reverb on it. And then lastly, I have pads. These are different kinds of like sustaining kind of sounds. And so um, I, I don't use a ton of them because they're pretty thick. And uh, I kind of get my point across with like usually these three are my main ones. I'll use these sometimes, but not, I've recently cut down on how many I use. And then lastly, I use this is my drum patch. This is what I, uh, I have certain sounds you see here. These are like six sounds that I use. And then... Uh, these are just different kind of things that I'll use for my drum patch. And so it's kind of how I organize it to make it really short and, and sweet. But say if I was looking for sales for something, you know, um, something kind of I want to see or look at. And so uh, say I'm looking for, oh, uh, I need to get to my, my organ sound. I'll just tap this and then I'll on this track and then I'll be there immediately. So, um, that's what I like about this. It's really quick, easy to access and get to. So that's kind of my setup. I, um, how you do this, I believe you can um, do it. You, you just click on it. And this normally is group tracks, but because this is a group um, sound, you can ungroup it. But you would tap that and then you could click and drag whatever kind of sounds you want in underneath this, this group track and you can like section them off and the way you see it's best fit. So that's kind of basically how I run my setup with Ableton Live.